start. Hi, this is uh, Ken Stone with masterstrack.com testing the rugless uh, speed sled, which is intended for uh, uh, start practices and little strength building, uh, uh, replicating the, the sprint start with a little uh, drag to, to, uh, to give you a better, better exercise. Um, I, uh, I'm going to be using a 25 pound plate which, uh, according to one instructions I've seen, said is a little too heavy. You're supposed to use 10% of your body weight, which in my case would be 15 pounds, not 25 pounds, because I don't weigh 250 pounds. Um, the the sled uh, is dragged uh, as you as you uh, as you take a starting a block start. Um, you wear this harness and you uh, basically get in the blocks and go. Um, I I had to. Uh, I have to experiment with uh, with where the uh, the blocks will be set up. How how far behind my uh, how far the sled will be behind my blocks? But then I'll do my best. <laughs> So uh, I took about 10 block starts, got those various angles, and uh, they were very comfortable. Um, uh, I had no uh, pinching or, or pain. I, I didn't uh, feel uh, uh, awkward. I just felt like I was running in uh, molasses, which I guess is the uh, idea that you're supposed to hold your form but uh, have some uh, uh, weight to uh, work against. Uh, other people use... Uh, billowing uh, parachutes and uh, this is a similar process. Um, the, uh, the, the, um, the harness uh, attaches easily and uh, I have a little slack in it but uh, it didn't uh, pinch me, it didn't uh, um, impinge on my uh, the upper uh, part of my, uh, lower, uh, my rib cage area here, just underneath my, my rib cage. Didn't impinge, uh, I felt fine. Um, I thought I was holding my form fine. Um, the only uh, problem with the, uh, the the setup is that uh, you have to you have to detach all the cart carts. You have to carry them all uh, to, to your place on the track. Uh, if you have a track that has a, a stadium stairs to, to access, you have to maybe have a partner helping you carry all the stuff because you also have to carry your uh, blocks with you. Um, uh, I was having fun uh, showing off for some joggers and walkers on the track, so I felt like I was. A, Professional track athletes uh, in practice and training. Uh, so, uh, if, if nothing else, you feel like you're uh, an elite athlete uh, working out uh, with the with the most uh, up-to-date, uh, state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, but I think if you're a beginner or somebody who doesn't know how to do starts, I don't know if this would help because you don't want to uh, practice uh, four starts with a with a uh, with a drag. Uh, you want to have your starts down. Your, down before you uh, uh, do, your, do, your, do your, uh, uh, sled work. So uh, it was fun and I enjoyed doing it. Um, I think I'll do this maybe once a month. Uh, it's good to start practice uh, with a little bit of uh, drag uh, so that you can get some uh, weights, uh, simulated uh, weight workout with it. Uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a logistical uh, uh, issue to uh, deal with all this equipment, uh, including the box uh, coming out to a track. But good luck and uh, thanks for watching.